A monk once asked Master Joshu, Does a dog have the Buddha nature? Master Joshu answered with one word, Mew. For the pursuit of Zen, you must pass through the barriers or gates set up by the Zen masters. To attain his mysterious awareness, one must completely uproot all the normal workings of one's mind. If you do not pass through the barriers, nor uproot the normal workings of your mind, whatever you do and whatever you think is a tangle of a ghost. Now what are these barriers? This one word mew is the sole barrier. This is why it is called the gateless gate of Zen. The one who passes through this barrier shall meet with Joshu face to face, and also see with the same eyes, hear with the same ears, and walk together in the long train of the patriarchs. Wouldn't that be pleasant? Would you like to pass through this barrier? Then concentrate your whole body, with its 360 bones, joints, 84,000 hair follicles, into this question of what mu is, day and night. Without ceasing, hold it before you. It is neither nothingness, nor its relative not of is and is not. It must be like gulping a hot iron ball that you can neither spit out or swallow. Then, all of the useless knowledge you have diligently learned until now is thrown away. As a fruit ripening in season, your internality and externality spontaneously become one. As with a mute man who had a dream, you know it for sure and yet cannot say. Indeed, your ego shell is suddenly crushed, and you can shake heaven and earth. Just as with getting hold of a great sword of a general, when you meet Buddha, you will kill Buddha. A master of Zen, you will kill him too. As you stand on the brink of life and death, you are absolutely free. You can enter any world as if it were your own playground. How do you concentrate on this Mew? Pour every ounce of your entire energy into it and do not give up. Then a torch of truth will illuminate the entire universe. Has a dog the Buddha nature? This is a matter of life and death. If you wonder whether a dog has it or not, you will certainly lose your body and life. What is this Buddha nature? Perhaps we could call it quantum consciousness? But that doesn't explain what this word mu means. Now, according to Buddhist doctrine, all living entities have the Buddha nature. So why didn't Joshu just say yes? Why Mew? What did he mean by the word Mew? What game is he playing? <laughs>